Hello everybody, this is Emeth and welcome back to more Grim Fandango Remastered and um, today um, we have more to do. Um, last time um, <laughs> we left off um, and Manny wanted to get some better clients so um, we're gonna go ahead and check out the uh, local uh, workplace. Let's see who's in here. Uh, this is Hurley Domino. We can talk to that guy. Why not? Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Hmm. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Yeah, sure. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Probably. Well, See you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. All right. So what we need to do now? See um, what we can do to find a, a better client. Um, I know exactly how to do that, but um, yeah, we need to go back down into the lobby. Before you know it, I'll never get out of this place. <sighs> You a fairy and your comes fancy around. suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Machinery, huh? That's something I might enjoy. But before we do that, um, let's go ahead and check what we can do with these things. Um, we do have some items if the game doesn't crash. Uh, maybe we can use these worms here. Fill them up with whatever is in here. That seems like a good idea, don't... Yeah. We got a lot of balloons. We gotta do it with this one as well. Damn straight. And then we go back up to the office because he talked about the um, the tubey thingies, right? The tube um, machine message relay thing? I don't even know what they're called, but I guess we can check it out. I mean. My message tube is full of nothing. Yeah, it's, as a usual. it's a message tube. Alright. We're gonna put this in here. Because why not? Because we can. <laughs> Look out below. And then we're gonna send the other one. It don't make sense in the end. I'll promise you. And now we have messed up the message to system. That doesn't sound good. We gotta check what we've done. Server's down again. What else is new? So this is what we're doing. I don't think we have to go down to the garage again. 
soon. Oh. Now this door is open. We can go in. And here's the big pink blob fixing things. The first thing we do here, before we forget, that. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that? I don't think they like that, actually. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Uh-huh. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Makes sense. I'm just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Say, uh, chatty Kathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Mm -hmm. And now we have, um, a break in the game, because... Oh, not again! That'll happen. Ah, 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 ah. You tried to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! I guess that's true. By the way, what kind of dialect does he have? Is he from Russia, or Eastern Europe, or, or what? I don't know. Something. I'm just gonna leave. Good enough for government work. But up, but up. But now that the door is still open, because we did that thing with the lock, we can go in. It's locked. Oh, well, that's a shame. Um, remember the cards we picked up? We have to use it now. Mercedes Colomart, client number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada, aha, positive attributes, volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. That's good, that's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar, I think you're the one for me. Well, if, if you hadn't put the holes in those cars, they would just be sucked in. Are you loco? Right away. What got into you? That was a company car. Oh yeah! And it's even better company now! I'm in! Yeah. Alright. Well, at least we're going in a little faster now. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. 
You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? Nowhere? What? Oh, sorry. Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would Look you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. I think that's fun. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Perhaps. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Litter? Oh, Manny. Is that the best you can do? I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me. But I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I'm not gonna exhaust all the uh, dialogue, because I don't really have time um, to do that with the time limit I put by myself. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Because I want to get to a certain point before I end up the part, so, yeah. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's mm. nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That I woman was a that's saint a and a shoo-in for a double-end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Alright. Well, we're in Gladys' office now. Or Shaq. There's really nothing here. Hey! Is anybody out there? Ooh, who's this? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. I'm not gonna do that. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do blow that. the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. 
Oh. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? Yeah, I remember this. Of the LSA. Oh, secret LSA. hideout. The secret hideout. The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you? Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Well... In fact, I think I'm going to end off right here, um, so we can start off the things we have to do next time. Um, hopefully we can get through um, day one by, or year one, in fact, by four episodes. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time for more Griffin Dango Remastered. So, see you later. Alligators. Yeah, sure, why not? Bye!